All right, uh, Mike Nolan here from nextdocusers.wordpress.com. Uh, this evening I'm here to show you the NextJock Gen 1 working with the Fire HD 8. And uh, let's see here. That's any better. Uh, yes and no. um, <clears throat> I guess the interesting thing about this configuration is is that um, if you look at this cable configuration here, um, I'm just going HDMI from the fire. HD 8 or 8 HD to the next dock and <clears throat> I guess what's a little interesting is that originally I tried using this cable and I kind of would have thought that uh, that might work pretty well it's a mini HD to our HDMI to HDMI but I'll try it again here in a second but <clears throat> initially it didn't work so I uh, got a adapter and a, another HDMI to well this is the thing um, is that micro HDMI compared to this is the cable that came with the next dock and this is the end that goes into the next dock the mini part or the micro if this is if this is mini and that's micro and that's full size <clears throat> it's have a full size cable here as well um, I guess so we got all three I guess micro mini and full size um, and then we have this abomination not really a big fan of adapters but until I find just a regular cable that will work <clears throat> um, in the land of adapters so Anyway, it's one adapter or another. Either would have been, you know, this adapter, or I've got now these adapters. Um, sorry, I don't know if I can switch on the fly. Okay, these adapters. This is the cable setup that came with the next dock. Um, besides the USB cable, and then back here to micro, mini, maxi. Hmm, there we go. Oh, yeah. So there's the family of HDMI. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> now that the fire is working, which I didn't think it would uh, yesterday, I guess the interesting thing is, is that uh, the screen quality difference. Um, the HD been having a hard time I mean HD to me should be 1080p so most likely it is I don't think it's 720p but it's been very difficult to find specific information online about it <clears throat> but the image on the fire looks really good and depend, if you didn't have it to compare to um, the image on the Next dock's pretty good as well, but um, it all depends on viewing angle. It's very easily kind of washed out. There's just a sweet spot there, and then it's a bit reflective, so that red dot is the light on the camera. Um, so, anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, it works. I guess the only other kind of issue for right now is the audio. Um, for 
for some reason there doesn't seem to be much in the way of audio control so <clears throat> the fire and the next stock are paired via Bluetooth but I'm thinking that the volume seems to be overridden by the HDMI which there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of great control for it so right now it's kind of muted or it is muted um, the F3 and F4 keys so F3 is uh, minus volume F4 plus volume and then F5 is mute when you hold down the function key here so unfortunately I'm a little short on space but trying to show what's going on here <clears throat> all right we'll see what happens so it's all the way down now if i hit function f4 nothing more i can do so um <clears throat> as i adjust the so i'm going to hold the function and hit f4 but let's hit the space bar pauses it so it should okay now it's gonna pause so you can see as I hold it's pretty loud but if I increase the volume um, as you can see it's not really making any difference up until the point it cuts off. So I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, there are some interesting aspects to it. Um, if I hit the uh, function home button, it should take me to the fire home screen, which it does. Um, and then uh, I'm using the cursor keys now uh, to move around the carousel which is nice um, very kind of difficult to see for the most part but somewhere on here let's see where to go okay <laughs> case in point so I don't even know if you can see this moving around here oh there it is it's the mouse cursor trackpad cursor it's pretty tiny and easy to lose. <clears throat> hmm, not sure how that's happening. Uh, with one finger. Two fingers? No. Uh, oh, that's like a double click. Brought up a menu. So I really haven't figured out uh, what the interaction is completely. Um, Yeah, it's kind of weird. But anyway, you know, it, <clears throat> at least it works now. So that's the main thing. Um, text is not all that great. You can see it's really bitmapped there. Um, so this isn't anything you'd want to read on <clears throat> to any extent, I don't think. Uh, let's see, I'll open up the browser here. Hopefully it's nothing strange going to come up. Oh, YouTube. Well, that's interesting. So, the fire is on my Wi-Fi right now. And, let's see if I can find anything remotely interesting here to watch. Oh, well, there's young woman talking about oh, there's some well, takedown notice with the Olympics oh, who knows <laughs> um, so I imagine the volume situation is going to be the same oh no no there's no volume oh there's nothing happening right now either so let's see oh, turn it down now you can see the volume well, <clears throat> kind of hard to say. I guess what I could do, 
possibly, and I can show you that <clears throat> what does happen here, if I click and hold the top of the screen and pull it down, it brings down the settings menu. And if I go, boy, that cursor is hard to see, but I don't even know where that cursor is coming from. Um, <clears throat> definitely must be built in to the fire. If we go to wireless and Bluetooth and turn off Bluetooth. Well, I'll lose the keyboard, but I'm just kind of curious to see. Yep, so the keyboard's off. But I'll go back on the fire itself. Go home. Back to the web. And get the video going. Let's see, how about. Oh, well, sure, why not? I don't know where these videos come from, but uh, top. 10 hottest so of course why why wouldn't that be the case um so there's let's see if there's volume here if there's any music oh, that's not gonna work um hmm. so right now I have the I have the fire upside down and I'm not sure where the volume control is this moment is that the volume oh what just happened <laughs> I, I turned it off fantastic <clears throat> um, let's see okay, the password like anybody cares um, <clears throat> okay here we go so volume Sorry. <laughs> Upside down. It's perfect. Okay. <clears throat> this one's very easy to turn it off. No, it's okay. So, <clears throat> so that sound is coming from the next dock, the two speakers in the next dock. And so yeah who knows it works um i guess if you're over headphones or something but <clears throat> it seems kind of not a great using user situation where um the volume is not linear <laughs> well i guess in some ways it's very linear it just goes from 1 to 10 on a completely linear path but it doesn't increase at a linear uh, rate so <clears throat> it's all or nothing so anyway um, it's possible is it something I do on a regular basis kind of hard to say um, but it quote unquote works and keyboard control uh, cursor control that seems to work um, <clears throat> most of the other functions work so there you go that's the deal Mike Nolan nextdocusers.wordpress.com out